I want to talk about getting your life back. Um, for most people, life is about what you've been told it is. You've gone to school, school's pre-programmed you for work, it's removed your creativity, it's removed your ability to be an individual because it's programmed to follow a path. Um, for example, mathematics. Mathematics is about using equations, not creating equations or understanding a depth of mathematics. It's about you just knowing how to count, how to do this, how to do, how to conform with everybody else. And the whole school system is built on that. It's not built on making you a creative person. It's, a make, it's to make you a functioning uh, citizen, um, not an individual. It's, it's designed for mass, mass use. It's designed for people conforming to industry, uh, factories, corporate world, being a guy that works on a production line. It is not about you being creative, thinking out of the box, getting ahead in life. At least not with most schools that people, the average person goes to. So to get away from all that, you need to start to think, what could I change? Because you've been pre-programmed not to think like that. You're pre-programmed to just follow what everybody tells you. you. You're programmed to go to work, do as you're told, and go home and take your pay so the tax man can take all your money off you. You're not programmed to think about things in life. Now, for me as an individual, I get frustrated where people are aggressively trying to push that down my throat because I am an individual. I do do stuff that most people don't do. We're currently in Spain rebuilding our life. Um, we still have our life in the Philippines, but we're now back at day one in Spain. But the advantage we've got is we have all our assets and stuff we built up in the Philippines. And the fact is that we are flexible enough and capable of going into another country and doing it all again. For most people out there, they will talk themselves out of ever doing something like that. But I will say the worst thing that can happen is sit and think about that. What is the worst thing that can happen? Because the first thing you would have done there is listen, expecting me to say something. The fact is, you think about what the worst thing that could happen. For me, coming back to the UK and having to work and go back to Spain. I'm not broke. I'm, I'm uh, still working. I'm still making money. The life in Spain will develop over the next few years. But at the same time, instead of sitting in the UK in this cold weather... Um, at the weekends because during the week I'm working anyway so I'm not really fussed but Saturday and Sunday Friday nights I'll be in the Mediterranean enjoying beautiful food and time with my family that is a big leap for many people for me we've, we've been further afield you know I've been out to the Middle East I've had my wife still in the Philippines for a long period of time while I'm away because we're building a future for ourselves. We have properties in the Philippines. We, we've got four apartments finished, a call center and a three-bedroom apartment we're constructing. We have a big 4 by 4 motorbike. You know, we've got everything in the Philippines already set up. You know, what is important is our kids' education, which is why we're in Spain. But at the same time, I need people to start thinking about what's holding you back because the biggest cause is yourself. We decided years ago that the kids were going to get educated in, in Europe and here we are, we're in Europe. But I find a lot of people will turn around and will just hold themselves back. They'll just give up before they even try. But one of the keys to all this is residual incomes. Residual incomes are things like these YouTube videos. It makes money every month and it just ticks over without doing anything. Interest in the bank is a residual income. But I wouldn't put my money in the bank because it's worthless there. But simply move it to somewhere that actually makes more money. Property can be a residual market. But it all depends on where you're buying and when you buy it. All these things are what wealthy people do. Because they start with 
small things and develop it into much larger. That's why, if you read a lot of these self-help book, self books, most of them have money and property. Most of them have them investments. Most of them have a mixed bag of what they're doing with their money because what you do is you do not put everything in one thing. But I tell you now, it all starts with today. Because like now I'm sitting here thinking, okay, what do I need to do to get that villa that uh, I'm looking to get by the end of this year? The first thing is I need to generate some extra income. And the first functionality of that, the first ability of increasing my income is taking the money I currently have and maximizing the amount of interest I can make on it. And on top of that, looking at other business opportunities, looking where I can invest money, looking at how I can invest money. But a lot of it is residual, because I'm still working Monday to Friday, so I need incomes that are just going to keep ticking over. Be it ISA investments, it doesn't matter what it is, the fact is, most people have money in the bank doing nothing. If you've got money in the bank, start there. Where can you put that money to make you more money? And once you start seeing that you may earn like 300 pounds a year with this little bit of flexibility, but next year it's not 300, it's 600, it's 300 plus another 300 plus the interest on that 300 you had last year. That's how you build money up. And you just need to work at it. It's not something that happens instantly. This is what people don't talk about in these self-help books. It doesn't happen instantly. It doesn't happen in five years most of the time. It happens over 10, 15, 20 years. But by year 20, you can buy a car off your interest. By year 20, you're not working for somebody else. You're already fully committed to what you're doing in life because you've programmed yourself into working for yourself. You're programmed in developing your life for the life you want rather than what people are telling your life should be. And that's all I can say on this because it all starts with you. You need to decide that you want to change your life. If you can't do that, you're never going to change. And that's why you need to sit and do it today.